Dear students, in this module we will discuss and understand the intricacies about the tools for data collection that is questionnaire and interview schedule which are mostly used in social service. The major learning objectives here are meaning and importance of questionnaire and interview schedule, construction of questionnaires and interview schedules, advantages and drawbacks of the questionnaires and interview schedules. First we will look into the questionnaire its meaning and importance. A questionnaire is consisted of a predetermined set of questions which have close relationship with the problem to be studied or event or phenomenon that is to be researched. A questionnaire consists of a number of questions printed or typed in a definite order or form or set of forms. In most cases, the questionnaire is mailed to the respondents who are expected to read and understand the questions and write down the reply in the space meant for the purpose in the questionnaire itself. He, hence, it is commonly known as mailed questionnaire. However, based on its uh, administering, there are some differences in such questionnaires. The most common features of the questionnaires are sending or distributing the questionnaire to the respondents, they should read and understand and then give answers to the questions on their own. Questionnaires are extensively employed in economic and business service and in social sciences. Its usage is limited to two general and sensitive topics and in the case of these and in the case of those moderately or highly educated respondents. Generally, in a questionnaire, the question should be simple, clear and easy to understand as there is no one will be there to explain the meaning of the questions to respondents. Therefore, the respondents have to be developed in an interactive manner which means that the respondents should feel that someone is uh, talking to them through the questionnaire. In order to make clear understanding about some of the question, mostly sensitive in nature or respondents appear to be hesitant to answer, interactive statements may be used explaining the relevance of the questions. The questionnaire will be effective only when the respondent is able or willing to express his reactions clearly in giving written responses. We will understand the various forms of questionnaires first. The, the first and foremost one is structured versus non-structured questionnaire. The structured questionnaire contains definite, concrete and direct questions whereas non-structured ones may consist of partially completed questions or statements. A non-structured questionnaire is often used as the interview guide which is non-directive. The interviewer possesses only a blueprint of the enquiries and to and he or she is largely free to arrange the form or statements of the questions. The structured questionnaire mostly contains close-ended questions or multiple choice questions so that the respondents read the questions and mark the answers in a pre-designed, pre-coded manner that contains the presumed responses by the researchers. Second type of uh, questionnaires are uh, form of questionnaires are closed form versus open form questionnaires. The closed form questionnaire consists of questions to get answers in short and uh, check responses. They provide for marking a yes or no, true or false or a short response or checking an item out of a list of given responses. It restricts the choice of response for the respondent and he has simply to select a response out of supplied responses. It is easy to fill up, takes less time, relatively more objective, more acceptable and convenient to the respondents. Data collected through this form of a questionnaire easy to tabulate and analyze. The open form or open end one calls for a free response in the respondent's own words. The respondent frame and supplies his or, his or her own reasons 
and probably provides for greater depth of responses. Generally, no clues are provided to the respondents to answer. However, this type of questionnaire probably provides chance for greater depth of response. But this type of questionnaires sometimes difficult to interpret, tabulate and summarize in the research report. This may be because of the freedom of response given to the respondents and thereby uniformity in the responses is likely to be less. The third type of form of questionnaire is the mixed questionnaire. This type of questionnaire consists of both close and open type of questions. In social science research, this type of questionnaires are used extensively and found to be very much useful. Having understanding the forms of questionnaires, try to learn about the steps in construction of questionnaire. The following steps are mainly followed while constructing the questionnaire. They are preliminary steps, physical appearance, form of questions and answers, content and wording, covering letter, pre-testing the questionnaire, re-examining, revising and finalizing the questionnaire. We will briefly discuss about each of these points. Firstly, preliminary steps. At this stage, the following steps may be thought of. The researcher needs to decide the topic for which research has to be carried out. Then the review, review the literature and develop a conceptual or theoretical model. Then list out the major areas, topics, subtopics and questions. Consult and discuss the list with the experts as well as friends or colleagues. Next follows the drafting questionnaire may be done. The second one with regard to the construction of questionnaire is physical appearance. The researcher needs to pay special attention for the physical appearance of the questionnaire so as to get good response. These include quality of the paper, type or printing or type of letters, font size, margin, spacing and arrangement of items in the questionnaires, etc. Color paper for cover or first page also may be used for attraction. The third step while for framing the questionnaire is form of questions and answers. Firstly, the researcher has to decide the type of questionnaire to be used for data collection like structured or unstructured, uh, direct or indirect, etc. The form of questionnaire mostly suitable to the objectives of the study. At the next stage, one needs to decide about the type of questions and answers to be included like open-ended, close-ended and direct or indirect questions, etc. In addition to these, the researcher also should give special attention to the type of answers to be elicited uh, such as dichotomous, true or false or yes or no type, multiple choice getting one answer out of two, three to five alternatives, scaling type or ranking type questions, short answer type questions and open ended type questions. All these will mostly depend upon the nature of the topic, type of respondents and the quality of information wanted. At times, questions and answers in a table formats also can be used with the suitable explanatory notes for the understanding of the respondents. Care also should, needs to be taken in preparing the few questions in the beginning as well as final questions. The questions in the beginning of the form should be somewhat easy to answer, factual and should raise curiosity and interesting to the respondents but related to the topic only. Likewise, questions that are least important and are open ended to collect attitudes, opinions on general themes may be kept at the end of the questionnaire. The final question, question may be used to make socially appropriate ending to it or final note or comment of thanks for cooperation should be indicated at the end of the form. The fourth step to be followed while constructing the questionnaire is content and wording. As the questionnaire should be in an interactive manner, 
care also need to be taken in the content and wording to be used. Generally, questionnaire will be limited in its length and scope. One can plan the questionnaire that can be answered in about 10 to 20 minutes. Accordingly, the researcher should see the all the subject matter to be covered by including the essential questions needed for the study and avoid repetition or unnecessary questions. The researcher also should take care about his language to be used, generally simple language, mostly local language, understandable to the respondents. Likewise, it is better to use the words that have precise meaning rather vague and confusing ones. The questions may be arranged in logical progression, section by section and some transitional phrases or statements may be used. Special care may be taken to format the first page in which the topic of interest, name and organization of the researcher, sponsoring agency if any, followed by covering letter, informal or for written consent if needed etc. will be there. Overall, the questionnaire should have the features of spontaneity and flow, comparability, reliability, stability, uh, validity, etc. The fifth step in construction questionnaire is cover about covering letter. As most of the questionnaires are mailed ones, in which case of the covering letter play an important role since the researcher is not present directly. The covering letter should consist of an appeal to respondents by the researcher indicating a brief introduction about the topic and the sanction authority, need for the study and the importance of the cooperation from the respondents, guarantee of anonymity, confidentiality of the information collected and directions about how to fill. The sixth step in construction of a questionnaire is pre-testing of the questionnaire. The draft questionnaire has to be pre-tested among a few respondents. Better to send the draft questionnaire by post only, but by informing the respondents who are likely to be selected for pre-test. At this stage, the respondents may be asked to give their suggestions if any freely and frankly related to any aspects of the questionnaire for which sufficient spaces may be kept in the draft questionnaire. The next step in the construction of questionnaire is re-examining, re-examining, revising and finalizing the questionnaire. After the pretest, the researcher has to go through the questions as well as the answers provided by the respondents and should take decision about the questions to be modified in content, wording, etc. If needed, decision may be taken about the questions which are found or stated to be irrelevant. Accordingly, the questionnaire needs to be revised and finalized. At the end, decision may also be taken to how to make multiple copies of the finalized questionnaire that is printing, xeroxing, etc. Constructing the questionnaire, the next stage will come how to administer the questionnaire. So, here we will discuss a few aspects related to administering the questionnaire. In that direction, the first one is in the case of mailed questionnaire. With the, financial, uh, with the finalized questionnaire, the most common approach to collect the data from the respondents is sending the same to the selected respondents by postal mail. For this purpose, the researcher should keep ready the addresses of the respondents. Usually, it is better to send the prepaid self-addressed envelope with the questionnaire as this might increase the response rate. Another essential requisite in this case is the covering letter that is mostly in appealing tone indicating the purpose of the inquiry, how or why the respondent has selected and the importance or usefulness of their help in reporting to the questionnaire. The major problem with the questionnaire is low response rate. The second aspect with regard to the administration of the questionnaire is collective administration or distribution. The questionnaire used to be distributed to the concerned respondents in one or several places. Such places 
are formal in nature like schools, colleges, suppose if the respondents are students or teachers or it may be such places, may be workplaces, if the respondents are workers at different business and business establishments, offices, banks, etc. And such places may be informal or formal places like shopping centers, railway stations, bus stations, hospitals, health centers, if the respondents are consumers, patients, those receiving health and family welfare services and other services, etc. Usually, the researcher will select a group of potential respondents who are willing to participate in the study and distribute the questionnaires at one or more places at once, explain them about the importance of study and collect the same immediately after filling them by the respondents. This is somewhat quickest way of collecting information and however, it may be time consuming if number of places to be covered is large. However, compared to the previous one, the response rate would be fairly higher since the researcher is present while collecting the data. The third organizational part of the questionnaire is in the case of online questionnaire. In the recent past, the researchers have started to send the questionnaire through internet or emails. For this purpose, the researcher has to prepare the questionnaire either through computer programming or by an attachment with a request to fill them up by the selected respondents for the study and then send it by email to the concerned respondents. Sometimes the researchers create websites for the questionnaires so as to request the respondents to locate the same and answer. The major hurdles in this method are that the respondents knowledge about the computer programming and process and collecting the email addresses of the respondents. However, this procedure saves a lot of time but needs effective planning to send the questionnaire and get back the same. After the administration of the questionnaire, the next stage will come above, uh, for returning or collecting of the questionnaire. Questionnaires though distributing and are sending to the respondents is somewhat easy, but getting back the filled up ones is somewhat difficult and thereby different techniques are used to follow for this purpose. Firstly, request to send back the questionnaires. In the case of mailed questionnaires, the researchers will attach a stamp affixed and self addressed envelope to the questionnaire and will dispatch the same to the respondents with a request to send back the same within a specified period of time. The researchers have to make arrangements to follow up the same from their side. In case of those questionnaires that have not sent back within the stipulated time or specified period, reminders may be sent to such respondents on regular intervals. At times from formal places, the researchers may request the representatives among the respondents to collect the filled in questionnaires in bulk and send back the same to researchers place by postal mail for which the cost will be borne by the researchers. Secondly, collecting in person. In case questionnaires distributed to the respondents at workplaces or public places, the researchers will try to collect the same immediately after they fill up. Of course, here too sometimes they may request some representatives among the respondents to collect and keep it with them which in turn will be collected by the researchers after some time say within 2-3 days. In such case, the representatives may be reminded by telephone or mobile phones etc. The third step in uh, collecting the questionnaire is through internet and or emails. In the case of uh, online surveys, the filled in questionnaires by the respondents will be sent back by emails only or respondents will directly answer the questions in the web format of the questionnaire, which reaches directly to the researcher's website. In case of delay, the researchers have to send reminders on regular intervals through respondents email IDs 
or at times telephone or mobile phone can also be used for this purpose. Advantages of questionnaire. Questionnaires are low cost or economical, they will be time saving, questionnaires will ensure anonymity, questionnaire is less pressure on the respondents, suitable in special type of topics and there will be uniformity if you use the questionnaires. And also minimum bias of the interviewer or researcher, respondents have adequate time to answer in questionnaires. Those who are not easily approached may, be, may also be contacted with the questionnaire. Uh, through questionnaire, large sample can be collected. However, they do have some drawbacks like low rate of return, difficult to use among illiterates and less educated, a misinterpretation or unintelligibly, no flexibility to incorporate amendments of questions, possibility of ambiguous replies, omissions of replies to questions. The so also difficult to know whether willing respondents are fully representative, no control over the questionnaire once it is sent and this method is likely to be the lowest effective of all. Having understood the intricacies of the questionnaire, now we will move upon to schedule. First we will learn about the meaning and importance. In social science research, schedule is most frequently used tool in collecting data from field surveys with the aid of face to face interview method and thereby it is popularly known as interview schedule. Like questionnaire, schedule also is a type of pro forma in which questions to be asked are divided into various essential headings and subheadings according to the nature of the problem under study. Here the questions will be asked by the researchers or interviewers and filled in by them in face to face situation with respondents selected for the study. Thus schedule is mostly assisted by the interview and observation methods of data collection. Though there are other types of schedules like inquiry, institutional schedules, document schedules, rating schedules and observation schedules. Here the focus is made on interview schedule because of its popularity in social surveys. Some of the major features of the interview schedule are schedule is mostly presented by the interviewer or researcher, the questions are asked and the answers are noted down by the interviewers researchers and schedules contains different forms of questions and also in the form of tables for asking directly. The list of questions is more formal document. The schedule can be used a very narrow sphere of social science research. Well, here we will try to see what is the what are the major purpose of schedule. The schedule serves as a standardized tool for interview in order to attain objectivity in research. It acts as a memory tickler that is it will keep reminded the researcher or field interviewers the different questions to be asked. It provides facility for a complete study about the selected topic under consideration. Through schedule, the researcher or interviewers will come up close to the respondents and thus facilitate the opportunity to collect maximum reliable responses. It also facilitates the work of tabulation and analysis with some ease. When it comes to the construction of schedule, the form and construction of schedule is almost same as in the case of questionnaire with some of the following exceptions. Usually the length of schedule may be little bit large enough to collect information from the respondents say for about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. The next one is the content of the schedule. Generally there will be an introductory part that contains information about topic of the study, institutional affiliation, statements related to anonymity, place, date and time of interview and the general information of the respondents including the address. The next part is the main schedule which consists of questions and blank tables that intended to secure information from respondents in relation to the problem under investigation. Here all types of questions such as structured, close-ended, 
open ended and multiple choice questions besides scaling questions and ranking questions may be used extensively of course like in the case of questionnaire here too questions that are leading and ambiguous in nature complex and loaded questions questions that are irrelevant and not important to the study have to be avoided sometimes there will be a separate part namely instructions to interviewers this part is more useful when different field workers are engaged for data collection here the instructions will be given to the interviewers how to ask certain questions how to elicit information from the respondents and guidelines to record the information coming to the advantages side of the schedule response rate is very high as the researchers or field workers themselves would become close to the respondents the next one is the researcher can create favorable atmosphere for proper response through administering the schedule doubts if any may be clarified immediately and get accurate responses through interview schedule illegible handwriting can be avoided through interview schedule interviewer can probe further for any clarification as questions are logically arranged collection and analysis of data would be much better and easy to handle through interview schedules the interview schedule has certain disadvantages also it is expensive and time consuming the presence of field workers sometimes create bias interview schedule has limited usage because it is not possible for all sorts of research to research topics and respondents at times create problems in the field or respondents also in sum in this module a detailed discussion is made about the various aspects related to questionnaire and interview schedule such as their meaning and importance steps in construction and advantages and drawbacks hope after understanding all these one will be able to construct both the questionnaire and interview schedule in a better manner so as to collect the data through them reliably while carrying out social surveys in population studies thank you